ex Senator Warner from the Rules Committee. Thank you, Madam Chairman. And let me also uh, agree with you and, and uh, Senator Rosen uh, that uh, the cross pollinization that takes place on social media platforms and on the dark web um, need to be pursued. Uh, I appreciate Ms. Sanborn's um, appropriate response that they not arbitrarily collect off of um, American citizens if there's not some nexus. But I, I do think it's important, and I think others have mentioned this, that you know, domestic violent extremists didn't start with January 6th. They didn't start with Donald Trump. They're not going to end with January 6th. They're not going to end with Donald Trump. Um, in my state, we saw a few years back the Unite the Right rally at Charlottesville, where many of these same groups and affiliations came together in a, another violent effort where um, one um, protester was killed and fortunately lost a couple of members of our state police. Um, you know, Director Ray has repeatedly said uh, in testimony before the Intelligence Committee, the Worldwide Threat Assessment, that dom domestic violent extremists uh, are a major national security threat to this country. Uh, I personally believe that that message was downplayed during the previous administration because they didn't want to hear it. And um, what I, I want to start with Ms. Uh, Ms. Lova and Assistant Director Sanborn, Director Sanborn, it's great to see you again, is that recognizing the constraints that uh, are placed upon you in terms of collections uh, and but also acknowledging that this threat has been around for some time, the FBI in particular is acknowledged that it is, it is an extraordinary major severe threat. What have you both been able to do in engaging in open source uh, intelligence and independent research communities to better identify these DVEs? Uh, I know in the run up to the January 6th insurrection, there was research done by Harvard's uh, Joan Donovan and Elon University's Megan Squire, as well as other. Uh, researchers that pointed to the fact that these DVEs and their affiliated groups, oftentimes groups that are in working in conjunction with groups in Europe, um, were planning this effort. So how are you both DHS and FBI utilizing these independent researchers, uh, open source activities, and, and making sure we're, we've got a better handle on it, recognizing the appropriate constraints on what you can do directly? Yes, Senator, thank you for the question. Uh, we just last week met as, uh, as Inside INA to discuss contracting with some of those experts outside. We are aware that we need to invest more in our understanding of domestic terror. We understand as well that it will require a different approach than a traditional intelligence community approach. We must use different sources to understand this threat. We are looking to get outside experts, invest more in-house. We are secondly looking at how to better understand the social media world so that we can better uh, focus on where we might actually find specific and insightful information about what the adversary is thinking about. We are additionally working to partner more with our state and local colleagues who we know have a different perspective of this threat and have more information in some cases than we do. And we are also, again, partnering more across the department and with our federal partners, um, increasing our relationships with FBI. Ms. Samberg. Thank you, Senator. Nice to see you again as well. I'd try to say what we're trying to do, and I'll put it in three buckets really for you. Um, increasing our private sector outreach is 100%. I have a section just inside my division that does nothing but um, partner engagement. We have found that the better we educate them on the threat we're facing and, and painting a picture for them of what those threats we are, they're better able to pay attention and collect and, and refer information to us. And that is helpful. And I think that's why when we talk about the fact that 50% of our tips and leads to our cases or predication for our cases come from that relationship and that education. We're also same as uh, my colleague said, using the state and local partners. So we leverage the fusion centers a lot and their ability and their expertise. Um, and the Orange County Fusion Center in California is a great example of leading 
sort of the analytics of social media and leveraging their expertise to predicate cases, and they were actually behind the predication of the case, the base that we disrupted. And then last, I would say, challenging ourselves for better collection inside, right? Trying to point our sources and our collection to be in the right places to collect the intelligence that we need. And that is what led to the Norfolk SIR. That is us pointing our collection in a space that gathered that information. I have to tell you, respectfully, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with both of your answers. Um, you know, this is not a new threat we've seen since 2016 election. How foreign adversaries uh, manipulate social media. You hear repeatedly from DHS and FBI that we're going to get better at, at collecting. Uh, we saw the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville. We, we heard people say we're going to get better at, at uh, collecting information and better partnering. Uh, neither one of you referenced. Um, there's literally a host of experts at academia, at organizations like Graphica, and others that are monitoring um, the DVEs and their activities, uh, oftentimes in their connections to anti-government groups in Europe, again, oftentimes amplified by nations like Russia. And I, I just, you know, we're always going to get ready, and then we're some, somehow surprised when we see the kind of chaos that took place on January 6th. We can't always be per saying we're going to do better next time when this threat has been around for years, it is not going to disappear with Donald Trump. There's never been somebody that was as active in, in encouraging these kind of individuals. Um, but we got to pick up our game. And I do think the, the academic researchers are a tool that we need to better develop. I think we need to work, uh, it was on the Intel side with some of our, our foreign partners. Again, many of these groups have connections to, to foreign anti-government uh, extremists. And I'll just close. I know my time's going out. I had, this is not directly you, Director Sanborn, but I had a number of senior conversations with FBI officials both January 5th and January 6th, where I was constantly reassured, don't worry. We think from the FBI standpoint, we've got this pretty well under control. That was not the case. And uh, we now have the capital of the United States desecrated. And, and for our adversaries, I say from an intel standpoint, the Vladimir Putin's and the Xi Jinping's of the world, the images of those marauders across the whole world is going to be a price that we'll pay, be paying for many years to come. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, thank you very much, Senator Warner, and thank you for your work as chair of the Intelligence Committee. Uh, we're now going to break five to ten minutes, um, so uh, we will be back at that moment. Thank you. <laughs>